Basically, polygraph test is a lie detector test. That's what everybody knows them as. Um, it basically just measures the reactions in your body to questions. And for the Bloomington Police Department, this is Detective Harms' field of expertise. We use it for several different reasons. One would be to clear somebody of, of, a, of a crime. Um, if they're a suspect, it's a good way to, to, to clear them of it, or it's a good way to confirm that they are the person that we're looking for. Um, a lot of times it helps us with interviewing people, that type of thing. Polygraphs aren't admissible in court, um, so we can't bring the results into court and say, here, he failed the test or he passed the test, that type of thing. But it's more of an investigative aid. Rather than just explaining how a polygraph works, Detective Harms showed me. And that first meant getting hooked up to the machine. There's two pneumo tubes that we put on. One is for the upper chest, one is for the belly. Um, males are typically belly breathers, females are typically chest breathers. We measure them both to, to cover both areas. And we look for um, slowing of the breathing, stopping breathing. People typically, if they tell a lie, they either hold their breath or their breathing slows way down. So we look for that, the uh, cardio, your blood pressure. In that, we look for um, spikes in your blood pressure, your heart rate, that type of thing. That's an indicator of somebody being deceptive. And then the galvanic skin response, that measures the electrical conductivity in the skin when it's reacting to stimulus such as fear, that type of thing. So what I did is I asked you to write a number down, one through seven, um, write it down on a piece of paper, fold it up, put it in your pocket. I didn't see what number you wrote down. I was instructed to hold still, keep my feet flat on the floor, and fingers spread apart. Is the number you wrote down number two? No. Is the number you wrote down number four? No. Is the number you wrote down number seven? No. Once the test was finished, Detective Harms examined my reactions to each of the seven numbers to determine which one I had wrote down. So your breathing slows there. I'm going to go with number six. Are you that good? There you go. All right. When a person tells a lie, they relive that event. And it's the fear of being caught in the lie that triggers, it's the autonomic nervous system is what it's called. Um, and that is broken down into the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Um, and what that is, is there's the phrase fight, flight, or freeze, the adrenaline rush that you get, that's the sympathetic portion of the autonomic nervous system that kicks in to protect the body. Um, the parasympathetic then tries to bring the body back down to homeostasis, normal, everyday life, that type of thing. Um, when I'm explaining it to somebody, the polygraph test, when I'm explaining the polygraph test to um, a person coming in and taking a polygraph, I basically ask them, have you watched a scary movie before? They typically say yes. I'm like, you know, as you're watching the scary movie, the scary part comes, you start to get the goosebumps, the adrenaline rush. The scary part comes, you jump, you scream, whatever it is that you do, and then you go back down to normal. That's the autonomic nervous system in the body. I can't control that with the polygraph. Um, they can't control that. It's a natural reaction in the body. And that's basically what it measures.